I've created these two animations from static AI generated images in just under a few minutes. Stick until the end because I will show you how you can easily create perspective shifts in Fusion. First, you need to create these images with your favorite AI tool. You could also use stock images or pictures you have created by yourself, but I've used Leonardo.ai. To prepare your images, open up your favorite image editor and then separate different layers and objects you want to animate. If you don't have Photoshop or anything similar, you could also do this in DaVinci Resolve. If you want to know how, watch the video in the info card. I've split my first image into three different layers. The foreground with the soldiers, the background and the birds. And for the explosion, I've separated the background, the upper part of the explosion and the lower part. So let's open up DaVinci. We will start with the explosion animation because it's easier and there's no perspective camera movement. Drag your clips in the timeline and stack them over each other. Now let's click on the top part of the explosion and go to the inspector. Animate the zoom and increase the size over time. Make sure the position is animated congruently. Then go to the clip with the lower part of the explosion and animate a similar size increase. Then adjust the position animation again that the bottom matches with the background. To make the scene more dramatic, I will drag an adjustment clip over my clips and add a camera shake and a slow zoom animation. I will animate the motion scale to decrease over time. For the second clip, we want to create something three-dimensional. To achieve such effect, we need a fusion composition. In the fusion tab, we drag all our image layers in the node tree. But before we connect them, let's set up our 3D environment. Add 3D image planes and connect them to a merged 3D node. Then add it to our renderer 3D and connect it to the media out. For the 3D image planes, we need a camera 3D node as input. Now you can connect each separate layer to one of the image planes. To make our 3D space visible, make sure you're in the split view mode. If you only see one viewer, click on the split view icon. Then click on this little circle on the merge 3D node to enable our 3D space rendering. To make more space, I will close our media pool. On the left is now your 3D space and on the right is the output image. But you can't see anything on the right because our camera is on the same layer as on our image planes. So let's start by pulling our camera back. Now we can change the distance between our layers. Click on one of the image plane 3D nodes and drag it to the front. As you can see, the soldiers increased in the right view. With, with the image plane 3D selected, go to the inspector and click on transform. And down here you can see the parameter scale. So let's scale it down until it matches our background again. Like this. So let's do the same for the birds. We will drag it to the front a bit. Go to the transform and scale it down. I want my birds to be quite small, so I will scale them down to this. And because they are behind my soldier now, I will drag them a little bit to the right. Okay, perfect. To animate the camera, we will click on it. In the timeline, we will go to the first frame. In the inspector, we go to transform and we will keyframe the Y, the Z from the translation and the X value of the rotation of the camera. Then we will move forward a few frames. And now we can push the camera in the 3D space towards our image planes. And to make it more interesting, I will also rotate the camera down. And to finish things up, I want my birds to be moving, so I will click on my image plane of the birds, go to the first frame, animate the X value of the translation, 
go to the end of our animation and push them to the left. And to create the illusion that the birds are moving their wings, I will drag in a camera shake effect between the media in and the image plane. And then I will decrease the motion scale to a reasonable value. And that's it. With this technique, you can animate any static image and make your video feel alive.